There is an invisible spot in the Northern Hemisphere that has captured the imagination of explorers and children for centuries. No country owns it, although many covet it. It has no economic value. Its importance is strictly symbolic, yet for that reason alone, the North Pole is beyond price. Open for debate is who can claim to have been the first to stand at the top of the world, where all the lines of longitude converge. The controversy has never been settled. What is certain is that today, only a select few can sail to the North Pole aboard 50 years of victory. The largest nuclear-powered icebreaker in the world generates 75,000 horsepower. Immense power is essential in crushing through Arctic sea ice that can be as much as 3 meters or 10 feet thick. The icebreaker departs from Murmansk, Russia, about three times a year. She sails on the tide into the midnight sun on a northbound journey. Even with the vessel's massive power, it can take as long as six days to reach 90 degrees north. This aerial view of victory crushing ice was taken from the helicopter that she carries on board. The chopper is used for ice reconnaissance as well as sightseeing. Nine months of the year, 50 years of victory is a working ship, keeping Siberian shipping lanes open for merchant vessels. During the Arctic summer, she provides travelers with more amenities than they may expect of expedition-style travel. Fine dining, well-appointed cabins, and public spaces that include a presentation room, library, bar, and lounge. Reaching the North Pole, it is time to celebrate with champagne toasts and a barbecue on the ice. Travelers have their picture taken to commemorate their membership in what is still one of the most exclusive fraternities in the world. During the southward journeys, shore landings are made in Franz Josef Land. The archipelago provides habitat for walrus and polar bears. These icons of the Arctic are wary of human beings, so it takes considerable skill and effort to encounter them in the wild. The expedition team stands watch for hours. Sightings have been known to occur after midnight. But as daylight is endless, travelers eagerly rise when the announcement is made that a polar bear has been sighted. This amazing expedition to the top of the world would be impossible without the power of 50 years of victory. <laughs>